Tell me how you feel right now. It's a very horrific crime scene. It's one of the worst that I've seen, and I've been on some plane crashes. It's, it's very bad. This was a scene in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where a shooting at a synagogue killed multiple people and hurt several others. Now, the gunman also reportedly opened fire on police who were responding to terrified calls from those barricaded inside the building as shots rang out. 11 people were killed when the gunman entered Tree of Life Synagogue around 10 o'clock this morning and began shooting. None of the dead were children. The scene is very bad inside. There are, there are multiple fatalities. The suspect, he said, was also taken to hospital. SWAT's going in right now. SWAT teams and police surrounded the Tree of Life Synagogue after reports of an active shooter at the building in the city's Squirrel Hill neighborhood. The suspect in the shooting is in custody. The suspect has been identified as Robert Bowers from Pittsburgh. Officials said there's no indication he was known to law enforcement before the shooting. After he entered the synagogue, it looks like at that point he uh, murdered the 11 uh, prisoners. Uh, I believe he was exiting or in the process of exiting the synagogue when a Pittsburgh uh, uniformed officer engaged him. That Pittsburgh officer was subsequently wounded. Uh, he withdrew, and as he withdrew, the defendant or the suspect went back into the synagogue in order to uh, hide from SWAT officers. The FBI is now leading a hate crime investigation into the mass shooting. The synagogue holds Shabbat services on Saturdays at 9.45 in the morning. And the attack is said to have taken place during a baby naming ceremony. I literally returned from Israel last night. The CEO of Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh told local media on a typical Saturday morning, about 50 or 60 people worship at Tree of Life Synagogue. Relatives and friends of those inside waited anxiously for news. They said there's police in the house and that, you know, so for them they're safe, but they kept hearing gunfire and everything else, so. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, I just want to get her. It is imperative that the neighbors in the community surrounding the Tree of Life Synagogue stay in their houses and shelter in place. Do not come out of your home right now. It is not safe. At least until the suspect was taken into custody, the neighborhood and all of the city synagogues were in a lockdown. President Donald Trump called the shooting far more devastating than anyone thought, but said it had little to do with gun laws, and had there been security at the synagogue, the results would have been different. If they had protection inside, uh, the results would have been far better. This is a dispute that will always exist, I suspect, but if they had some kind of a protection inside the temple, uh, maybe it could have been a very much different situation. They didn't. And police here in our region say they've stepped up patrols of synagogues as a precaution, even though they have no information to indicate they may be a target. In a tweet, Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders says, Police stand with our Jewish community condemning the senseless violence against those in Pittsburgh. We will continue to monitor the situation and have made adjustments to local security.